Hello, my name is Edo and I'm a nice free photographer and we are here filming a masterclass with Wex about my night street photography style. My first memory of photography comes from my early memories. My dad was a photographer, uh, in actual fact was a wedding photographer. So we spent, I spent a lot of time with him at uh, weddings, uh, watching him taking pictures for bride, grooms, uh, pre-church, after church. And that was a quite nice way to introduce myself to photography. Watching my dad developing his, his art, really, his skills, and that became a quite nice way for me to developing my passion towards the photography. I was quite reluctant to follow my dad's path. I did not want to become a wedding photographer because I saw, my, I saw the struggle of my dad working long hours. Weddings tend to be quite long. It tends to be a, tends to be a lot of post-production. And usually it's at the weekends. So I was kind of reluctant to follow my dad's path. And eventually I found my way. At the beginning as an as a early photographer, you're struggling to really find your own style. So I was very much a try nature, landscape, architecture. Eventually I found my way, which is street photography. And from street photography, I developed to nice street photography, which I found more interesting the daytime. What I like about nice street photography is more you play around with shadows or silhouettes and rather than um, people. And that leaves uh, the picture to be interpreted, leave the picture to be open to imagination and you can really find your way in a picture which for me maybe represents something for someone else means a completely different which is nice that's why I like about nice street photography silhouette um, shadows um, quite mysterious quite voyeuristic so that's kind of why I'm attracted to it I've been a photographer for a good five, six years now. Um, things take time. Uh, initially, you do a lot of unpaid work in order to promote your work. Um, uh, you get a lot of unpaid jobs and you're hoping that your, your, your work gets published. I started to enter some competitions, first of all locally, then national, been recognized, been seen, and eventually the paid job came, came along. That, that was a good way to start to see real money. Usually, as a photographer, as at the beginning, as an artist, you always struggle to find, to find money, to find a way to make a living. But don't give up. If you're really passionate about it, don't give up, because eventually the money will come along. It's not just about taking a picture, it's about developing your passion, and that passion will come out on your pictures, and a potential client will see that, and want to pay you money for that. Okay, so this is my tool, this is my camera, this is my toy, it's a Canon. Um, why Canon? No reason, I've always been a Canon user and I kept using Canon and I find myself um, comfortable using Canon. In terms of street photography, I'm using a 50mm lens. Why? I feel that the photography is very much about energy and feeling the energy of, a, of the subject you try to take a picture. If I use a zoom lens, which you can use it for street photography, it's slightly different because you're not really engaging, you are not really find yourself in the situation. So I'll give an example. Let's just say I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking part of a protest march on the high street. I can be a street photographer with a, a zoom lens standing a, a, on the edge of the, of the march and taking pictures. Or I take in my 50mm lens and I go in right inside the, the, the protest march and that's where I feel, that's where I feel the anger, the frustration, the people upset feelings, the shouting. So my, my, my street photography becomes more powerful because it's not just about catching the person but catching the energy that comes with it. And if I feel the energy for the subject, then my picture is more powerful. So that's why I'm using a 50mm lens. It forced me to get into the subject area and my picture I feel are more powerful. 
So um, why why I'm using a fi a 5D SR Canon? Because it's, it's a full body, um, it's a full body uh, picture, so it allows me to take in uh, a, a big picture and I can zoom and expand it when I print it. I can print a very large format without losing too much of the quality of, of the picture. But when I started, I didn't have much money. And this, this camera now is quite expensive. But at the beginning, uh, as, a, as an early photographer, you don't have much money, so I, I, I used a Canon which was quite, quite basic. And I still believe that the, the, the camera is a, tool, is a tool. You are the photographer, so the camera is just an extension of who you are. And if, it doesn't matter how cheap or expensive your camera is. If you are tuning yourself with the environment, then the, the camera doesn't really play a major uh, in role. It's just an extension. And the more you, the more you experience it, the more you develop your skills, then it's time to step up and get a camera which has more better functions and it's easy to use it. So this camera, for example, has got handleless focus points, which I'm sure lots of you know what focus points are. Focus points are the, the red dots, uh, the red dots that you use when you want to focus in a, a specific subject. Um, and the, the normal camera, the basic camera, tend to have only nine focus points. Which, which is kind of limited your, your way to capture a part of the picture you want to take it. And because now I've been taking a picture for a long time, I feel I need more focus points to use it. So this camera allows me to have a full spectrum of focus points so I can catch a different subject at the same time. And I think it's a, it's a good thing. The more, the more you step up, the more you develop as a photographer, the more you need to move up with your gears. It's like when you get when you get a new car, you just got your driver license, you just pass your test, and you get your basic car, which has got very limited functions in your car. You got your manual windows, you got only four gear, five gears. And once you get more comfortable with your car, you step up. You get a, a car with a larger engine, which uh, is faster. You get more your warm seats. Uh, you get your electric windows. And that's what you do as a photographer. The more you step up, the more you want to buy gears which are more, which have more functions. And this camera has got, is a wonderful camera. I wish a Canon would sponsor me and give it up for free, but I had to pay for it. So Canon, I'm sending a message here, loud and clear, yeah? Uh, anyway, stick to Canon and 50mm. This camera is wonderful. It's got so many functions that it makes my life easier. This is one of my favorite spots uh, why this area first of all it's packed of people and as a nice street photographer you want a lot of people to use it as your subject so there's a plenty of choice of a different type of people and the later it gets because we're in a very sociable area the later it gets the people get more relaxed more few drinks the people start to chill so they're more approachable so it's easier to do street nice street photography in this area Obviously, if I was in a small town going out at night, people would look at me and would call me, Oi, what are you doing there? Why are you taking these pictures? But in London, late at night, lots of people, central London, it's easier. Uh, so I'm making my life easier. And plus I've got many, lots and lots of subjects I can choose from. So the reason why we're stopping here is because um, when I'm going out to, to do nice street photography, it's all about finding the right spot, which is a mix of uh, environment, lighting, and people. And this spot for me is a good example why I've I chosen it for my nice street photography. As you can see behind me, there is a door, there is a, a, a single spotlight, and, and it's dark, and the, the picture can come out quite, quite silhouette style, there's a shadow, 
Uh, if a person passes by right in front of the door with the single light, that picture can come out quite nicely, can come out quite like a nicely photography, quite shadowy, moody, silhouette type. So um, currently I have found a spot which I feel suits my style of night photography. It's shadowy, you can see there's a movement of a wind, there's a quite cloudy and now I'm going to set up my camera. The first things I'm going to do, I'm going to try to set up my ISO. Um, most of the cameras are set on, on auto, I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't want the camera to be in charge of my lighting so I'm choosing my lighting. In an ideal situation, because it's very dark, you want to super bright, but I don't because my night street photography is more shadowy, dark. So I'm going low and I'm probably going to stick around 800 and 1000. So my ISO is set. Okay, so now we're focusing on my shutter speed. My shutter speed tend to be between 30 to 40, 20 to 40, so now I feel I'm in the right spot. Okay, so here we are, and so we got 1000 ISO, shutter speed 50, my aperture is 2, and I'm ready to wait and I'm ready to shoot. I'm gonna wait for the right subject to pass by and then um, I shoot. There we go, camera ready, focus set. Location founded. I'm ready to shoot. Where is my subject? I know it's late. I know it's dark. I know we're in central London. I know it's midnight, but hey, where are you? Where is my, where is my subject? Oh, here we go, someone is coming. Oh, someone is coming. Awfully, someone is coming. I mean, let's hope she's gonna stop. Oh, is the she? Oh, whoa, look at that. There we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, here we go, love it. Oh, shh, it's there. So, so what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to dark up a little bit. So if I shoot. Yeah, perfect, look at that. Increasing my shutter speed. Then my, my style is right there. And there you go. A nice night street photography. Luckily, she she's still standing there. I don't know what she's doing, but she's still standing there. So I'm taking it. That is a good picture. That is definitely a good picture. That is that is what I was looking for. We we're waiting here for a while. It's so cold, but hey, we've done it. Let me move in my focus point. Actually, my aperture is still two, and my Shutter speed is 50, so I could even go a little darker even there. Uh, voila! Yeah, that's a good picture. There we go. We are still out in London. It's dark. We are on South Bank. I think it's around midnight. 
it's quite cold but now is the right time where my style of photography can really show up and so I'm walking around looking for spots and I found another one and I think if this is a good spot uh, you will see soon it's, a, it's like a single spotlight coming out from the left and I think again it's a good spot I can wait in there sitting here waiting for, for someone to pass by Again, because it's cold, it's late, <laughs> it's not the most comfortable place to be, but, you know, that's what you do for art, don't you? Okay, we're rolling. Okay, now we're looking for another spot. I think I found the right one. Oh, here we go. We have someone passing by. I think that is another good, good, good spot. I think I'm gonna sh increase my shutter speed. My my ISO is still the same. I'm still on 800. My aperture is still two. I think I'm ready to shoot. Really, let's have a look. Um, yeah, that is what we're looking for. Oh, the guy just gone. Okay, so here I found another spot. Uh, I think this is a good one. Uh, single light, close to a tree. It's quite dark. I think I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the right spot. Let's wait for someone to pass by. Hopefully, someone is going to walk. Who knows? But hey, it's London, isn't it? There's always people. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I feel I found another good spot. Um, single light, pavement, um, lots of street lights. They're making a lot of nice spots. Um, I think it is another good spot for me. Let's wait in for someone to walk by and hopefully, hopefully I catch him or catch her, who knows. Maybe it's a dog or a fox. Let's see, let's help him. There we go, someone is walking, someone is walking, I feel, oh here we go, look, I think the composition is right, I got 800 ISO, 2 aperture, 100 shutter speed, I think I'm going to shoot and I see what will come up, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, yeah, I think it is quite good, let's help him, so there we go, it's leaving, it's leaving, it's leaving, yeah, that's good. Like it. Location, time, patience, waiting for the right subject, composition. I would say composition, location are the main two. Then you need to have a lot of patience and obviously waiting for the right subject. So location is to do with finding the right spot to which has good lighting, not too bright and not too dark, just enough light to create some silhouette. 
some shadows. Ideally, you want to be in a place where it's quite busy, so it's easy to wait for the subject to pass by. If you go in isolated places, if you go in the countryside, you're going to wait for days to find the subject, so don't do that. So try to go in the big cities. Um, second point is location. Location is important because Finding the right spot, which is to do with the line, shadows, and lights, can be useful for your composition. Composition is what you come up in your mind, so picture your picture you wish to have in your head first and then creating it practically with your camera. But first of all, try to have a vision in your head of what composition you want to create and then looking around for your environment to make it suitable for your composition. And finally, patience is to do about patience. Street photography is patient. You need to sit down and wait, making sure you you wrap up, you wrap up properly, have a whole drink, and then um, waiting for someone to pass by, and then you should be ready. Five tips: don't give up. That's it. This is the end of my masterclass in night street photography. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to Wex uh, for giving me the chance to talk to so many of you. So please enjoy this master class in night street photography. My name is Edo Zolo and my Instagram is Edo Zolo. E-D-O-Z-O-L-L-O. -L -L Catch me on Instagram. Thank you Wex for the, oh sorry, Wex and Canon for the master class. Cheers, bye.